Hello, how are you? This is Rachel from Sweet Me Paper Co. I am here with another Margaret Miller Weekly Collage Challenge. Today we are doing week five, something maroon, a repeating pattern found in nature, an eating or cooking utensil such as a spoon, something hung on a wall, a doodle, and the bonus is typewriter text. So let me show you what I have in mind. Something maroon, I have the scrap. From this, I think this is from a sunflower paper pad, and it's got these like little gold bursts on it. It's so so pretty, and a repeating pattern found in nature. So I immediately kind of thought about flowers, and I just got this Joanne Fabric circular in, and I really liked these flowers here. So I thought that would be kind of pretty but obviously this kind of like isn't natural ish because they're probably fake i'm not i'm not quite sold on this yet mainly kind of because of the shape or maybe this might be okay because i can cover this part up and then just have like a good portion of this on it i'm not sure yet and, and eating or cooking utensil, you guys are going to laugh at me. Because I'm reaching with this one, and I, I don't care. I'm going to go for it. <laughs> I thought I had stickers with a spoon on it, and I can't find it. But I did find this little bunny. It looks like they're dyeing some bags for Easter. And I think that might be a measuring cup. But we're going to say... Um, that it's a spoon today. It's just a big spoon to eat eggs with. <laughs> to eat eggs with because I think I could probably find a spoon and something, but I'm really not having good luck. And oh, I've got that one book. I don't know. I kind of want to use the bunny. We're going to say that's an eating you. Well, it says cooking utensil. I mean, you use a measuring cup to cook. You know, you're measuring out your ingredients and stuff. Something hung on a wall, I think, is going to be the item I sub the bonus in for. Doodle. So I did some Sharpie leaf and branch doodles on some watercolor paper today and cut them out, which really hurt my hand. <laughs> so I want to use one of these in today's collage, maybe more than one. I'm not sure, but that's going to be my doodle. And then, so I'll be using the bonus item, which is typewriter text. I found a library card catalog uh, to use in this, which may look a little different because these are very white. So I may kind of grunge those up a little bit with some distress ink. May end up cutting that off. Maybe we'll kind of use that to cover up that there. Okay, so that's what we got going on. I got me a new, or I got a new glue catalog sitting here. I got a bunch more papers cut up to use as my background pattern sheets. So we need one that won't clash too much with the maroon. And yeah, so I am ready to get started. And as always, I will speed this part up for you.
Okay, I'm done. I really like it. Um, I keep wanting to add something up here. I decided maybe not to. I just kind of have it like this. Um, I did end up cutting her off. <laughs> and so I covered her arm with that Sharpie doodle of the leaves or whatever. And this ended up looking really pretty. That circular with from Joanne Fabrics. I love that. So let's add our number. Let's see. Let's put it down here. Boop. So there we go. Week five. So I still, well, as of recording this, which I'm recording in January, so I have it ready for next week. I still haven't done weeks one and two. I just really haven't had time to sit down and figure something out for them yet. Yeah, this turned out really cute. But I hope you liked the video. If you want to see the other videos I've done for this weekly challenge, I will have the playlist linked down below. But if you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bye!